Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Well, it's finally here. Thor, the God of Thunder, returns to theaters to drop the hammer on your expectations and delivers his most colorful, most fun, and dare I say, most thrilling solo adventure yet. Okay, now, let's be honest, that was not a very high bar to clear, but with acclaimed comedy director Taika Waititi behind the camera, and with the Guardians of the Galaxy movies having paved the way for a wilder and bolder color palette, we have come a long, long way since 2013's aptly named Thor the Dark World. That's right, the jokes start early in Thor Ragnarok, and they never really let up. Not only do the characters crack wise non-stop, there is a ridiculous streak that runs through the proceedings from cameos to slapstick humor to Jeff Goldblum in full Jeff Goldblum mode. Honestly, you can't help but chuckle when your bad guy goes, uh, okay guys, uh, Thor has escaped, so uh, you know, uh, uh, don't let him get away, okay? But, but I'm losing my focus here, but a, a bit like the movie does at times. For a good while, Ragnarok feels like two movies, one taking place on Thor's home of Asgard, where Hela, the goddess of death, has taken over, and the other taking place on the planet of Sakaar, where Thor, Loki, and a lot of fun new characters have found themselves stranded and imprisoned by Goldblum's Grandmaster character. Both plots unfold simultaneously, but the Asgard plot does suffer a little bit from the fact that our heroes are all located somewhere else for most of it. But, but never fear, director Taika Waititi keeps things moving right along, and that is probably the defining trait of this film. It just never stops throwing things at you. Action, humor, twists, big set pieces, jokes, so many jokes, and perhaps most thrillingly, a non-stop barrage of character moments. In some movies, you have one character that quote-unquote steals the show. You know, it's become like a cliche, like, oh, so-and-so stole this movie. Well, in Thor Ragnarok, you're faced with a constant barrage of things stealing the show from moment to moment. From Tessa Thompson's conflicted warrior character Valkyrie, to Goldblum just Goldblooming himself, to an evolved talking childlike Hulk that is fascinating, to Mark Ruffalo's dazed Bruce Banner, to Kate Blanchett and her glorious antlers just chewing the scenery, and any of a half dozen other smaller roles and cameos to, well, I'll be honest, even the effects steal the show, especially in IMAX 3D, which occasionally zooms out the aspect ratio in key scenes to display nothing less than a beautiful picture window into a breathtaking fantasy world that is wondrous to behold. Visual delights, fun characters, plot developments, and non-stop jokes. All in all, Thor Ragnarok is a full-blown assault that never stops throwing delightful things at you in its effort to entertain. But it's not all fun and games. Ragnarok, of course, means the destruction of all things. And surprisingly enough for a movie that wins over its audience by not taking itself too seriously, there are some major stakes at play here, and some pretty big developments to Thor's world, not the least of which are the loss of his trademark hairstyle and hammer, as seen in the trailers, and some pretty big implications for the Marvel Cinematic Universe as a whole. It's therefore not only one of the most fun, but also one of the most important standalone movies in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as well. So before I give my rating, I have to point out that 2017 has been an exceptional year for comic book superhero movies. I mean, honestly, looking back over my reviews this year, you've got Logan, Wonder Woman, Spider-Man Homecoming, Guardians 2, heck, even throw in Lego Batman movie if you want. Every single one of them I have awarded an extra large bag of popcorn. Now this says less about my preferences than it does about the overall strength of the genre as a whole right now, but there you have it. And although I'd hate to seem predictable, the charms and thrills of Thor Ragnarok are so, are so irresistible that I, I just have to, yep, after the large bag of popcorn for the never-ending delights of Thor Ragnarok. What a great year for superhero movies this has been, and, and Justice League, I'm talking to you. Two weeks from now, you had better bring it, because I'd love to see your genre have an absolutely perfect year at the movies, and you're the only superhero movie standing in its way right now. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel if you'd like to see more. And support us, please, by clicking subscribe while you're there and by clicking the thumbs up icon on this video. I'd like to hear your thoughts on Thor Ragnarok in the comments as well. Let's hear it. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel. And what were you the god of again?